This Just Like You information video has been produced with the collaboration of your veterinarian. Movement in a healthy dog appears almost effortless. Like most quadrupeds, dogs move like a wheelbarrow, four limbs carrying the majority of the weight and are driven by the forces of the hind limbs. Knee joints generate the majority of the forward movement. Just like you, the knee joint is complex with multiple structures combining to promote both movement and stability. The patella, or kneecap, focuses the large muscle of the thigh to extend the lower portion of the limb. Two pieces of cartilage, called menisci, cushion the inner surface of the knee. On the interior of the knee, a pair of ligaments, called cruciates, prevent the tibia from slipping forward when bearing weight. Just like you, cruciate ligaments are prone to injury. In fact, cranial cruciate, or an ACL tear, are the most common cause of hind limb lameness in dogs. Without treatment, a ruptured ACL leads to severe and permanent arthritis. In addition, limping on one hind leg places additional strain on the other knee, often resulting in injury to the cruciate ligaments in the other knee. A test called the drawer sign is used to confirm ligament tears. This test is most often performed under sedation as the pet protects the injured limb. Applying force above and below the knee shows instability. The upper limb can be seen slipping forward, similar to opening a drawer. X-rays are taken to confirm that the injury is confined to the ligament and the bones have not been damaged. Just like you, a ruptured cruciate is both painful and a serious injury. Untreated debilitating arthritis is expected. There are a variety of surgical options available. The recommended procedure depends on the size, weight and activity of the pet. Simply creating an artificial ligament is used in smaller, less active breeds. Larger breeds, or those with a more active lifestyle, may benefit from procedures that alter the architecture of the knee. A procedure called a TPLO, or Tibial Plateau Leveling Osteotomy, is an option used in larger breeds. Regardless of the procedure, it is important to opt for knee stabilizing surgery before arthritic changes have developed. After the surgery, several weeks of rest will be necessary to encourage healing. Just like you, a slow return to activity and even physiotherapy will be recommended. The good news is that cruciate surgery holds a good prognosis. Most dogs return to a pain-free life and are able to return to a normal level of activity.